Well, after 13 years, I finally have the pond ensemble so we can play in it. This is 2011. We started in 1998. And this year I added eight cubic yards of sand, which we used to make a beach all around the wading pool. And a hellacious sand pile. This year I put a sunshade over the dock bench and the guardrail to separate the wading pond from the pond itself so that it could have a sand bottom. On this date, August 8th, the pond is actually full. We had a good rain last night and so it's almost to the top full up. Another addition this year was and sort of the piece de resistance is the moss boat. The moss boat which I originally designed to collect moss off the pond started out with a recycled bathtub in a wooden frame, simple wooden frame, with four five gallon plastic buckets turned right side up, glued to the corners for stability. After I used it on the water for several days to collect moss, I realized I didn't want to take it out of the water for Claire's kids visit, but that it was not stable enough to use for kids. So I added a tractor tire inner tube to each end and on the sides a stack of styrofoam blocks which actually are out of the water until the boat is loaded. They have a sort of a kayak style paddle and in the center a sort of a donut seat pad for grandpa and along with it goes this moss basket which simply lays across the front of the boat and you go out and slip it under the moss and dump it into the basket. We might want to be mindful of where the shovels are so Emma there's one right behind you you don't want to sit on it. Of course there were water fights, in this case three on one, but Will's grin tells the tale.
All right. Our life vest can be our boat, but it's not our trip to so. I don't know, James. There we go. Yeah. Look at all the tadpoles. Look at them all. You're going to have a bumper crop of frogs. Oh, yeah. There was the great frog hunt where the frog eventually jumped into the bucket all on his own and the most intrepid swimmer of all swam on. Everybody helped haul rocks to the bridge for shoring. from the Whoa. large rock pile and we are throwing down and William is going to demonstrate where they're going. Well, except that William is now setting his nose in the bucket too. I'll help you with that one, Will. Christmas in August. Look out! 
Look out, everybody. I want to carry this one. Here, we can carry this one together. All right. You want to your fingers. They're pretty heavy when they fall over. All right. Everybody. Okie dokie. Hold on to your potatoes. Oh, I, oh, honey, I don't think you can lift it. Here, Hold on you to help, me. help me. Help me. Throw your potatoes down. Ah! Oh, yeah. You push it off. Yeah, push it off. Down. There, it didn't go very far. <laughs> Are you taking it? Yes. Show me your best rock throwing talent, William. Ah! Sharp rock! Right. Well, that was really, really good. Yeah. Look at Will. Just tip it off then. You ready? Can I ride first in the tractor off, Will? Okay. Well, Allison's going to ride first. I want to ride second, please. I want to ride last because last is better. How'd that go? Good. <laughs> did you enjoy that? Yeah. Ah, I bet you did. <laughs> Technique is everything. Where there's a will, there's a way, and this made excellent practice for BB gun shooting. The bicycles provided continued independence of location even if Allison did have to have a little help from behind. From Allison's tea to Will's waffles, we ate our way from hot dogs to ham, salmon to snickerdoodles, ice cream to mush, and all too soon, it was time for fond farewells, and the magic memories of the cheer of a child's chirp and the burble of brook bubbles.